Hello from ChemHelp ASAP. MO theory can be complicated, but frontier molecular orbital analysis can simplify working with molecular orbitals. Here is the MO diagram for a typical molecule. On this energy axis, the molecule has any number of orbitals, eight in this example. Some are filled or occupied, others are empty, vacant, or unoccupied. The highest occupied molecular orbital, or HOMO, determines the nucleophilicity or basicity of the molecule. This is the orbital through which the molecule donates electron density. The lowest unoccupied molecular orbital, or LUMO, determines the electrophilicity of the molecule. This is the orbital through which the molecule accepts electron density. Understanding just these two orbitals can help us predict the molecule's activity. This idea of focusing on just the HOMO and LUMO to predict reactivity is called frontier molecular orbital or FMO analysis. The HOMO and LUMO are the frontier orbitals. FMO analysis is convenient because we can focus on just two orbitals instead of dealing with the full complexity of all the orbitals in an output file. Let's see an example. In the upper right is a reaction. The reaction of formaldehyde with an acid. Let's assume we don't know where the protonation of formaldehyde will occur. Maybe MO theory can help. On the screen is the full MO output file for formaldehyde. It's messy, but remember that formaldehyde will react as a base. We just need to focus on the HOMO, highest occupied molecular orbital of formaldehyde. Formaldehyde has 12 electrons in its valence shells, four bonds and two lone pairs. 12 electrons will fill six molecular orbitals. The sixth orbital, the highest energy of these six, is the HOMO. The seventh orbital, the next highest orbital, will be vacant, and this is the LUMO. Look at the coefficients for all the AOs in the HOMO. Find the biggest number while ignoring negative signs. The biggest coefficient is 0 0.77. It corresponds to the oxygen atom. The large coefficient on the oxygen indicates that the electrons in the HOMO reside largely on the oxygen atom. That's our answer. Protonation of formaldehyde will occur through the HOMO at the oxygen. You may have already known that. Of course formaldehyde will protonate on oxygen through one of the lone pairs. Regardless, through MO theory, and in particular frontier molecular orbital theory, we can predict the site of basicity of formaldehyde. FMO theory is very useful, and it can often be used to predict the reactivity of a molecule without requiring full consideration of all the various orbitals in the molecule.